brothers and sisters of our Lord Jesus Christ, on this day the church begins a holy season of prayerful and penitential reflection. Our attention is especially directed to the holy sufferings and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. From ancient times, the season of Lent has been kept as a time of special devotion, self-denial, and humble repentance, born of a faithful heart that dwells confidently on his word and draws from it life and hope. Let us pray that our dear Father in heaven, for the sake of his beloved Son, and in the power of his Holy Spirit, might richly bless this Lenten tide for us, so that we may come to Easter with glad hearts and keep the feast in sincerity and truth. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. be gracious to us. Be gracious to us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment, us, we poor sinners implore you to, us, to prosper the preaching of your word, to bless our prayer and meditation, to strengthen and preserve us in the true faith, and to give heart to our sorrow and strength to our repentance. to draw all to yourself, to bless those who are instructed in the faith, to watch over and console the poor, the sick, the distressed, the lonely, the forsaken, the abandoned, and all who stand in need of our prayers, to give abundant blessing to all works of mercy, and to have mercy on us all. To turn our hearts to you, to turn the hearts of our enemies, persecutors and slanderers, and to graciously hear our prayers. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O God, you desire not the death of sinners, but rather that they turn from their wickedness and live. We implore you to have compassion on the frailty of our mortal nature. We ask that you would bless and sanctify these ashes, now to be set upon our heads as a sign of humility and your pardon for our sins. For we acknowledge that we are dust, and to dust we shall return because of the nature of our sin. Mercifully pardon then our sin, that we may obtain the promises you have laid up for those who are repentant, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit one God, now and forever. Amen.
dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. 
you are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. Almighty God, merciful Father, 
I, a poor, miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities, which I have ever offended you, and justly deserve your temporal and eternal punishment. But I am heartily sorry for them, and sincerely repent of them. And I pray you are the boundless mercy, and for the sake of the holy, innocent, and bitter sufferings and death of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his Son to die for you, and for his sake forgives you all your sins. As a called and ordained servant of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, you despise nothing you have made and forgive the sins of all who are penitent. Create in us new and contrite hearts that lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, we may receive from you full pardon and forgiveness through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, 
one God, now and forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading is from the second chapter of Joel. Yet even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love, and he relents over disaster. Who knows whether he will not turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, consecrate the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, even nursing infants. Let the bridegroom leave his chamber, his room, and the bride her chamber. Between the vestibule and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare your people, O Lord, and make not your heritage a reproach, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord became jealous for his land and had pity on his people. The Lord answered and said to his people, Behold, I am sending to you grain, wine, and oil, and you will be satisfied and I will no more make you a reproach among the nations. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, come, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, who for the joy that was set before him endured the, endured the cross, despising the shame. And the right hand of God. Epistle reading from 2 Corinthians, the 5th and 6th chapters. Therefore we are ambassadors for Christ, God making his appeal through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Working together with him, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, In a favorable favorable time I listened to you, and in a day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We put no obstacle in anyone's way, so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we commend ourselves in every way, by great endurance, in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labors, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, the Holy Spirit, genuine love, by truthful speech and the power of God, with the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left, through honor and dishonor, through slander and praise, We are treated as impostors and yet are true, as unknown and yet well-known, as dying and behold we live, as punished and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing yet possessing everything. This is the word of the Lord. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the sixth chapter. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret." 
and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Jesus said, And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces, that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, that your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Well, this is really remarkable. Look at all of you. All of you who came here to willingly be told that you are dust, and to dust you will return. To have ashes put on your head and be told you are going to die, you sinner. That's what you all came here to be told. Now that's not a new revelation to us. None of you were surprised to hear that tonight. None of you were surprised to hear that you are dust, and to dust you will return. Death, the wages of sin. We didn't come up here to find out something new about ourselves. We came up here to be told what we already know. We came here because we know we are sinners and that we're going to die. We came here to be reminded of it, to have it again impressed upon us. We came here as an act of confession. To go forward for that is to say, yes, I know, I am. And if some of you did not come up, well, the message is the same. Remember, O oh man, that you are dust, and to dust you will return. Those aren't just the words of the right. Those are God's words to you. Remember, O oh man, that you are dust, and to dust you will return. Remember, O oh man, that you are dust. You are man and not God. You are man and were made. You did not make yourselves. We are not gods, but God's creatures, his creation, formed out of the dust of the earth. And we have life because he breathed into our nostrils the breath, the ruach, the spirit of life. Our form is from him, our life is from him, not of ourselves. And we use that gift of life to war against our Creator, to rebel against Him, to make ourselves out to be equals of God. And so we brought death on ourselves. <coughs> and we came here tonight to both confess that and be reminded of that. How do we dare do that? How do we dare come before the holy God who has declared that the wages of sin is death to confess sin? To come to confess to God, I have earned death. How can we dare do that? You would think that we would either be in denial of it Convince ourselves that we are not sinners. Or we would fall into abject despair. That there is no hope whatsoever. And yet we came. We came because we know our God. It was there in the collect today drawn from the intro for the day, one of the most beautiful collects of the day and intro, it's, I think, in all of the church here. You have mercy on all, O Lord, and abhor nothing you have made. You look past the sins of men that they may repent. Abhor nothing you have made. 
There was never a time when God hated us. Either collectively or individually, there was never a time when God did not love us. He did not love us again because of what Christ did. Christ did what he did because he loved us. And he looks past the sins of men that they may repent. Not turns a blind eye saying, oh, they're really not a big deal. But to look past them to give us the opportunity to repent. Because if he does not, then we dare not repent. In that very mark, and that very mark right there is already the promise. Because that mark is made in the sign of the cross. The cross of Christ in which is our redemption. The cross of Christ in which God's love flowed. God's love flowed in sacrifice for us. The mark of the cross which is our hope and our redemption, our salvation. And that mark of the cross made upon our foreheads, that happened to you before, when a pastor made the sign of the Holy Cross both upon your forehead and upon your heart to mark you as one redeemed by Christ, the crucified. That is to say, it's there in the sign of the cross to remind us of the redemption won on the cross, and it's put on our foreheads to remind us that that redemption is ours, mine. The cross is for me because I am baptized into Christ. And then we'll come again. We'll come up to receive a very different word. Not the word of the law announcing our sin and death. But just as he once breathed into our nostrils the breath of life, he will now put into our mouths the bread of life. And into our dust, doomed to die, he pours the medicine of immortality. The theme of Lent is set. It is repentance and faith. Is that not the whole of the Christian life? Of course. And because we need to be brought back to it, and we need to take time to reemphasize it, to focus on it, to remind ourselves what our life is all about, we come to a time of repentance and faith. Not so that it can be laid aside at Easter, but so that Easter is all the more joyously for you for me. We need not be afraid to confess our sin, to confess our vileness, our wretchedness. We don't need to live under any pretenses and any denial. We don't have to hide behind our pride or our fear. Because he hates nothing that he has made. And he forgives the sins of all who are repentant. All. You, me, everyone. What joy then to be one who is repentant. For into that, on top of that, God pours out his mercy, his forgiveness, his love. His life. The life of him who reigns, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God.
and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Heavenly Father, on this Ash Wednesday, we beg you to send your Holy Spirit to draw each of our hearts to Christ our Lord. Wash away the iniquity of your baptized people and cleanse us from all our sin, so that we store up for ourselves not treasures on earth, but treasures in heaven, creating us pure hearts and steadfast spirits, so that we dedicate ourselves in this holy season to prayer, fasting, and almsgiving for our own sake and for all in need. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, by your word and spirit, turn to faith in Christ the hearts of those who live without him. Grant to them also the joy of your salvation and the peace of knowing that he who had no sin became sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, in the way and at the time you know is best, bring healing to all who are sick, injured, preparing for surgery, recovering or in distress. Comfort all who mourn, provide for those who are seeking jobs, and give peace to all who are anxious about the cares of this life. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, grant us repentance that comes at the table of our Lord this evening recognizing the enormity of our sins, and grant us faith then through Christ's body and blood to receive your even greater forgiveness for our sins. Inspire in each of us a life filled with good works that glorify you as others see your compassion in our actions. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Hear our petitions, Heavenly Father, for we pray in your Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who out of love for his fallen creation humbled himself by taking on the form of a servant, becoming obedient unto death, even death upon a cross. Risen from the dead, he has freed us from eternal death and given us life everlasting. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, For you have had mercy on those whom you created and sent your only begotten Son into our flesh to bear our sin and be our Savior. With repentant joy, we receive the salvation accomplished for us by the all availing sacrifice of his body and his blood on the cross. Gathered in the name and the remembrance of Jesus, we beg you, O Lord, to forgive, renew, and strengthen us with your word and spirit. Grant us faithfully to eat his body and drink his blood as he bids us do in his own testament. Gather us together, we pray, from the ends of the earth to celebrate with all the faithful the marriage feast of the Lamb and his kingdom, which has no end. Graciously receive our prayers, deliver and preserve us. To you alone, O Father, be all glory, honor, and worship with the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
the Lord God Almighty, who brought you into his grace, the holy baptism, keep you in that grace now and forever. Amen. The body of Christ for you. 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 Stop.
We give thanks to you, Almighty God, that you have refreshed us through this salutary gift. And we implore you that of your mercy you would strengthen us through the same in faith toward you and in fervent love toward one another. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.